Hi everyone, this is Radu Live. Thanks for joining us. Today I have a superstar in the studio. Thanks. Uh, at least he's, he accepts. <laughs> You've earned it. You've earned the right. Elijah Manangoi. Nice of you to join us here on Radu Live. Pleasure. And uh, for those three people in Kenya who don't know who you are, because <laughs> there are other 40 million do, give us an introduction to yourself and what it is you compete in. Um, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, my name is Elijah Manangui. Uh, I am an athlete. I run 1,500 meters and uh, 800 meters as well. So and I, I was a world champion. And a world champion. <laughs> former Commonwealth champion, intercontinental champion, African champion, two times Diamond League winner, and uh, uh, personal best top 328. Uh, top 10 in Kenya. So. I am so happy. So, yeah. That you is you me. forgot to add, just to mention a few. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eli, can I call you Eli? Yeah, sure. But you also call yourself Lion. Yes. Where do you, call, where do you get the name Lion? I uh, get it from my manager uh, way back, I think three years ago. Well, I was running London World Champs. So, I think the name came up like, because, you know, Masai is, you know, know how to go after a lion, so he actually started you to call me fierce. a lion. Yeah, exactly. Fierce go run and no fear anything, like a lion. So the name came up. Lion. Yeah. Lion, how did you get into running uh, and decide to run professionally? I started running when I was in uh, primary school. You know, my dad was a runner. He was an Olympic finalist together with the father of David Rudisha. So uh, I, I can I can say that uh, we have that's something in our family. And uh, you see also always my brother, George, is a runner mm -hmm. as well. So I think it's something. Also a champion, yes. Exactly. So I uh, started running when I was in primary school. But when I went to secondary school, I, I actually get to more serious and um, go to national school. Uh, like I was in Olulunga Boys High School. So I started like making it serious because um, the, the, those my friends from South Rift, North Rift, mm -hmm. was in issue. We were actually interacting together. So, you know, Kalenjin know how to run. So I get so into them. And influence. Exactly. So I went to national and then I went again to East Africa. Remember when I was in Form 1? Uh, that was 206. So I've started there in mixed areas and this business. So, yeah, going uh, to mm. going to compete again. Um, started, I think, in Barcelona when I was youth. Yeah, then uh, I didn't came with any medal, but I didn't lose hope. I've started competing, and uh, when I finished high school, I went to Saint Patrick's Eton, where Rudisha was, and. My coach was Brother Colum, who was the best coach. So he started telling me that one day, one time, you'll become the world champion and Olympic champion. But you have to change the race because I was running 400 meters. Ah, yeah, at the time. At that time. So mm. I came in 2014 to shift to 1500. So I made the team when the selection was actually made here in Nyayo for Commonwealth Games 2014 to Glasgow. So. I ran on that day, I ran my PB, and that is it, and specialized with 1500, yeah. And as they say, the rest is history. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but at, at, but at what point did you learn that you were special? Because there's so much talent, especially in this country, so much competition within ourselves. Well, when I, I was, uh, at that time, that period when I was in St. Patrick's C10, mm. and of course I have influencers like Rudisha, who was there, too many athletes, so I was looking at them and I knew that everything is possible. Then I've started to make my mind too strong and start focus. And and I didn't actually compete on that time, but I was training at St. Patrick's C10. And then... Uh, getting better. Getting better, exactly. Mm. So that was the time that I knew that I can achieve something. I, I always tell our athletes, either you win or you learn. Exactly. So you don't have to I, win, I was learning. Learn. That, exactly. I was mm -hmm. learning. Tell me about the 2015 uh, Beijing World Championships. Uh, that was my special day, actually. 
in all my career because mm -hmm. of oof, when I was running, uh, I didn't make myself that I can win this gold medal because Asbel was there. Mm -hmm. Some crazy athletes, faster like Mati Centro is Olympic champion, former from US. So if actually I could run like myself, then I could have won that race. But when actually uh, before 300 meters, I was like the middle of the pack. Asbel was front, McLaughlin, Egida, and all those guys. So I started pushing the 200 meters and run, run like crazy in, in the home stretch. And then I made it and come home with a silver medal. And I, I can say that that was my first time in all my career that I ran so well. But I could have won that race, but I was fearing those guys. I didn't have that experience of learning how they can approach and run. But you, you were men mentally, you were not yet ready. I, exactly. I was mentally not ready. So I was, I knew it as well as here and all other guys. But so so you, were, you were putting yourself down before you've even run. E exactly. Mm. But when I was pushing, I, I, I look at them and I say that they are not going. So, but it was too late. So I made it to the silver medal. You come back to Kenya. What did you do in those two years before the 2017 championship? I came to be more serious in training. Yeah. I put all everything aside and uh, I came back to the camp. And that was the first time I knew it that I can win. I can win, exactly. I can win any race. For any of those guys competing this race, I can win. Then I um, came to realize that um, if you can run your own race, then you can win and you can achieve everything. So I came back and sit with my coach and now try to do the training of 1500 because there way back I was doing like 400, you know, like hill work. I was gym, I was at the gym, you know, like three months because I like going to the gym for strength and um, doing my speed, endurance and all that. So before, I was in top shape in 2016, <coughs> but when I went to Rio compete, then I got injured, so I pulled out. And then, uh, so after 2015, I came to concentrate with running, especially 1500, middle distance running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then of course, 2017, tell me about winning that world championship. Uh, before 2017, but in mm. the same year, Mm. I was on top shape because uh, before 2017 World Champs, I was winning all those Diamond Leagues. You remember, Timothy is my best compatriot, you know, Cheerios. best competitor. Yeah, uh -huh. Tim was pushing and pushing, but I was in good form. So I won in um, I won in Monaco. Mm -hmm. The I, I ran my PB 328.8. So that was the time that I knew that I'm going for this gold. And it was like three months, two, one month before the World Champ. So came back home and prepared for trials. And now that I, I win in national, I win in national trials. Yes. Then I, when the time that we arrived in London, I had a headache, you know, so a bad flu. But uh, of course, it was not injury, but just flu. But I keep concentrating and pray God that. Uh, going to win this medal. So mm -hmm. I went there personally for winning the gold medal. And yeah, it was a surprise. And I, I think the difference, what you've said between 2015 and 2017, is that one, you didn't believe you could win, and the other one, you believed you could win. Perfect, exactly. And you won in your mind when you did. Mind, yeah. Which shows how it. mental sports is, huh? To, yeah, I was too much. Now, you know, when you try to compete, like daily, you know, then you're keeping giving yourself courage of even running in front, pacemakers and all that, getting more experience and all that. So that's why I, I won in, in, in London. And then the next few years, you, I mean, you continued this Continental Cup, African Championship, Commonwealth Games. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, uh, champion. I, 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 I even went to the Luo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won. Uh, f uh, I, I've started actually uh, tried uh, from 2016, 2017, 2018, mm -hmm. exclusive all these three years, 
But 20, 2016 was not my good year because I get injured. So, mm. but I was in top shape. As well was there, Kwemoi was there representing Kenya. Then, remember that race they ran too slow, like 350. So that's why Madhi Central is won. But if I was on that race, then those my guys from Kenya, they can actually you know, could push have them. run, push them. Mm. So, so it was not our day. So I think uh, just went back to Munich and get treatment after like two months and then get back normal. So who was managing you all this time? Uh, this guy from um, Finland called Juka Harkonnen. He's a Finnish guy. Mm. He's a good guy. So, but he's old, you know. He is retiring next month, so he's actually been in business like 20 years for management, and uh, yeah, he's good, like good family. Yeah, he actually, I have never changed the management, so I think I'll change because he's going for retirement. So you have to, you're, you're on the market. You're looking the market for a good now, ma yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and and I know your training. I see on your Instagram. Wow, 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 wow. You're always training. I've been trying to get an interview for uh, two I years. Know. I'm actually <laughs> trying to work hard because you know I, I've it's not been training for like three months, three years, mm. not competing. So I need to get back to where I was, like Manangui, you know. Mm. So I need to run like uh, three twenty-eight where I was three years back, like twenty seventeen. Because right now I can run 330, 332. So I need to lower that personal base. Cut like four seconds. Exactly. How so hard is it to cut four seconds? Too hard, believe me. But it's not that hard. It's, it's your mendo, you know. Mm. You, you, can, you, you can concentrate and lower your world record. It's just only our mind. Like Kipchoge says that no human is limited. You can do anything. Yes, you can do anything. Gapa. Exactly. It's just only mind. So, you know, uh, the, the bad thing in Kenyan athletes, mm. they never believe in ourselves. Never believe themselves because uh, they always train in Kenya is, you know, is a source of Talent. athletics, talented athletes. So, I, I can lower that world record or my PB. But I need to work hard and to concentrate and to want to achieve what I want. Is there something missing in the way our athletes are being trained that they, the belief is not there? Well, yeah, I think most of them, they don't have um, support, mm. food, training facilities, everything, coaches. Guidance. Exactly, mm. guidance. So you see most of them um they compete here and then they disappeared yeah they have one two three races exactly <coughs> one two three races. Hear their names and then exactly. never again yeah so we don't have that kind of grouping like we need to talk to our athletes mm. every camp every camp but athletes kenya they are doing a good job for this doping you know for like seminars only but we mm. don't have this one like Athletes, we need to do this and this. Is that only and, and, and I think the problem here is that we have so many good athletes that even when some disappear, <coughs> excuse me, others take their place. So we don't realize that somebody has disappeared. Exactly. Because somebody else just steps in. Exactly. And wins at 1,500 again and wins at 800 and 400. Uh, let's take a short break. Uh, we still have lots to talk about, so don't go anywhere. I'm with Elijah Manangoy. He was a world champion. World! In 1,500 meters. Our discussion continues in just a bit.
Welcome back. This is Radul live, and today I am with world champion. Yes, 2017, he was a world champion, and he's won so many other accolades in the 1500 meters. Elijah Lion Manangoi Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, so you've told us about uh, winning all these championships and everything. Uh, two years ago, um, AIU stepped in, suspended you and you disappeared for two years, what happened? Explain to us. Um, yeah, but I think, um, yes, I was suspended because uh, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I can call it that because uh, it was my responsibility. Even if uh, there was someone who was um, managing my uh, whereabout accounts, but the athletics, uh, IU says that if you got caught in those cases and then you'd be responsible for and then I take it myself. But so basically you missed three consecutive exactly. tests. Exactly, yes. So you for got suspended yes. and it's not that you were caught doping as it no. came out. Yeah, no. So you the clear the thing is that I am clean and I always run clean and mm -hmm. I'll continue run clean. Uh, I've never, never actually get to such cases like using those drugs and all that. The thing is that only third party then dead. So out. you missed the test. Have you since, have you learned a lesson from that? Because I know that a lot of our athletes, you leave someone else to manage you, but then it's, at the end of the day, it's your own responsibility. Have you learned your lesson? I've learned 100% actually, because mm. now I'm so keen, like I'm um, handling myself doing it for myself every day i step out of my door then i know my slot time so now i'm doing it for myself and i, I can actually i can say that this is too nice now because i've learned a lot and i know now that uh, when you do such cases like that and the you repercussions are harsh exactly exactly so i went for two years and then i couldn't believe for like a month but I adapt and then continue with life. I went home, you know, I, I am a farmer, farming, all that, doing some things at home, have time with my family, all that, so. But I was doing training at home. I have a gym at home. So I actually doing it like fitness and all that. And then I, 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 I actually um, like realized that those two years is, already finished so came and back now you're making a comeback exactly now making a comeback so last year i had an injury you know when you come back immediately you mm. start feeling feeling weird things in the body so i had an injury so that's why even i didn't uh, make to make the team for the world champs mm. um for in oregon this year so then uh actually starting training afresh and then looking forward for next year season and and how with the way you're feeling now can you feel like you can get back to your 328 because now you you have four seconds to cut but i see you training really hard well i think the the shape that i'm coming right now is the shape that i was in 2017. Mm -hmm. yes because now um i put it everything aside businesses and all that even friends so my business is training Nothing much. Training, sleep, eat, Focus. repeat. Focus. That's all. So that I can achieve something. Do you train do you train with your brother? Do you train with George? Yeah, I train with George. Uh, we had a very strong team. Mm. I have like <coughs> another Excuse brother me. who is very strong, the younger one. Mm. So we are three. Plus the those our training, so partners. Um, yeah, we are actually we had a, a very nice and amazing group for w training. W would you say, uh, are they also training the 1500? And uh, when you're at home, do you compete? As in, <laughs> you're better you know than the, me, the, I'm the, better than you. You know, the funny <laughs> thing is that uh, we're all training as a group, like we are all 1500 meters runners. Yeah. So, um, like, when the race is coming, like, it's near, we are, we are starting looking ourselves like, who's going to win this? <laughs> 
So uh, we make some jokes that, yeah, I'm going to win this. <laughs> Don't go from in front of me. So making those joke jokes and then uh, I know that they are too strong, but I think they didn't have that courage of coming in front of us like me or Chariot. But the moment they're getting that such an experience, they will beat us very soon. Trust so me. What's their time? Do you know their time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, George has 331. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Timothy 328. And oh, Timothy has a 328. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 328. Mm -hmm. So you see, those are big milers, man. I remember when we were going to run in, in Oregon, Eugene, the Nike P. Fondane Classic. Mm. So we we known at Rongai Athletics Club like the best milers, men. Because either Chariot won or me. Either him or me. World Championship, me or him. But I think in 20, is it 2020, Tokyo, the Wazungu now came to our room. So they are too strong. So we will know how to handle them. <laughs> You're planning. We are planning. You're planning because they are too strong. Trees. Yeah. Yeah, too strong. I, th I think for you, it's probably the, the, the year you missed, the year you were not at your competing because the competition also pushes you yeah. to do better yeah. but you're telling me you're also transitioning to 800 yeah i am an athlete i'm, a, I'm a, yeah i can run 800 and 1500 if for example we we don't have like 800 meters in doha mm -hmm. i can go there and run 15. if we have 800 no 1500 the management will book me 800. Mm -hmm. so 800 and 1500 is not that different, not much different. The same, same thing. <laughs> only three laps, laps. <laughs> only three laps and a half and eight, uh, eight two laps. So <laughs> no different at all. I am too much comfortable with those two races. And uh, even in the police championship. You're telling me you've done, where, where, where did you do 143 in, in, in 800? That was Doha. That was Doha 2018. Uh, I beat Korir, the Olympic champion. So I was first and then second. Then Ferguson for teach, yeah. And Kenya, Kenya, as as we are like uh, another Kenyan as one, another Kenyan exactly. as one. We are spoiled for choice, but I guess individually you want to win. Exactly, but yeah. the you know the, the the bad thing in Kenya, they don't. Um, I can I can say honestly this: like football and athletics, we are too much different. Mm. Because athletics, I think we bring more medal here. Yes. And like by a long shot. <laughs> making Kenya proud. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. raise our flag every daily in our championships. But the moment football came in, or those footballers I, I can't put it off like, yeah, they are the best guys and represent our Kenya fly country as well, but they don't um, you know, they don't take much athletics than football. Because I can bring my medal, like individual, then go home, relax. And here when it's football, there's so much noise. Exactly, so much noise. So we are, we have a bit like of Like last time Kipchoge when he has arrived in, mm. no, no, no one cares. He came in and then boom, a laureate. Because I think they used to know that it, ah, they are going to win. Let them come back, and blah, blah, blah. So, but I think um, the best thing is that uh, we have now the new CS, so we believe in him. That's I think what he'll do. Exactly. We but believe it's in but him. it's a lesson to us that don't yep. be so spoiled because everyone who brings a medal has worked hard, has Very sacrificed, true. has Very dedicated. True. Like, you know, and some should be plodded. Yeah. You <coughs> look like Uganda. Mm. They have a very nice welcoming. Uganda are given houses with the Houses, Olympic cars, medals. and all that. So we need actually to. Mm to have that to actually appreciate appreci exactly more. appreciation you know so that we can work hard yeah but it's a lesson for us yeah. football unfortunately as a sport is popular exactly. in the whole world exactly. but in Kenya we are not uh, we're not serious we're not serious in terms of yeah the management because of it. yeah we are individuals and then mm -hmm. like Manangoi bring the gold medal today ah okay we have well a done. nice reception a finished eat and all that Nimenda na medoliangu home, so I, we don't know. That's shame of a, well, Me, I want to see Rhodes. I want to see Rhodes named after you. Every gold medalist. Exactly. 
Exactly. And then a real reward plan, not even a, uh, oh, we got four medals, let's uh, do something. It should actually be written true. before you even yeah, leave. Yeah, because we make so much sacrifices, like wake up five, uh, normally do our training three times a day. Yeah. Mm. Then I see you on yeah. your Instagram. It's an intensive <laughs> training, like daily. So I, wake up, I wake up at yeah, yeah, yeah. 8 a.m. I see five hours ago posted. Exactly. <laughs> It's even dark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we make a lot of sacrifices mm. to achieve this thing. It's not that easy. It's not. So we need to appreciate you guys. Exactly. I saw the two who won um, um, Frankfurt Marathon the other day, and even the Kenyan handles didn't even congratulate them. They didn't even yes, realize yes. the exactly. Kenyans running yeah. in Frankfurt. Because I, I don't know if we are too many, um, uh, like... They're just waiting for Kipchoge's name, and, and a lot that. of people didn't even know Kipchoge's 159 was the second attempt. Exactly. True. Because the first attempt just went... True. I think it's only us yeah. sports people who knew and people didn't even pay attention. <laughs> which is shame on us. Exactly. You know, this is crazy. Because I imagine what more we could be doing if we support you with a plan. Not you've run, you've won a medal. Ah, this guy who exists. Instead, we invest in you before you even go. Exactly. Yeah. And tell like you, if you win, I'll give you a house and a car so that you've already motivated someone. Like in 2015, we, we were number one in the world. Mm. Yeah? In 2015. Can you imagine that? Kenya number one in the world. In world. The world championship, yeah, the Beijing, China, 2015. So that was too much good. They should be, be proud of us sometimes. I'm proud of you. I know. No, I'm feeling bad. <laughs> What's in store? What are you training for now? Where can we see you in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, year? What's your big target? My big What's target. What's your immediate target yes. and your big target? Uh, my big target is next year. Mm -hmm. uh, World Championship again in Budapest. So I I'll try to make the show. 800 or 15? 1500. 1500. <laughs> 8 is a bit tricky, but I'll go for 15. You go for 15, and we are our own biggest competition. Exactly. That's Muzungu, remove him. Man. Yeah, those Muzungu right. are strong, and they came in our We, we really force, thought so Chariot would get it. Yeah, Chariot is a, is a good competitor, and is uh, a good tractor. You, know, you can push and push. But you know, Muzungus, they, they run like they don't have any plan. Like, they're only running. <laughs> and they will make this thing, you know. But they are very good competitors. But sometimes we, you know, we take them like, okay, ah, Africa, they're gonna win this race. But now Wazungu came in, so we have while to compete. You, while you were not watching, exactly. while you were not paying attention. Exactly. Like Inga Britson is a very good runner now. He's a good competitor. Like world champion now, five thousand. Yeah. Olympic But you'll we'll beat him next year. Hopefully. Would you sure. would you encourage your children to go into to become professional athletes? Um well I might have been tough. <laughs> it's been tough. I can't say that let them decide for themselves. Maybe you will want to play football. But normally they they like when I'm running. They always on the television. So daddy is running today. So they know now what is 1500. They know my competitors, their names and all that. So I think it's a good learning for them now mm -hmm. to start learning what is athletics, what is competition. They only, I actually always know that this is the world championship and this is the Diamond League race. So they, they differentiate those, those races. So and I'm happy for them. And that's how you watched your dad. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. Always. I, 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 I can say that my dad is uh, is my hero and I think he influenced me a lot because he usually talked to me and especially when I went home for the ban two years, he's telling me that don't lose hope. Your time is coming, so continue, relax, pray, do your things, go back for training and then make your Sure, to be easy. Yes. Incidentally, what are your views on, um, because recently we've had so many Kenyans being banned, 
for on doping yeah, allegations yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and this year the numbers are unbelievable. They're racing a lot, yeah. I think we are in, in a big trouble, I can say that, mm. because we are athletes, I think Kenya are too many now, like caught in doping cases, and I think we need to be more serious. We need to be more serious now, because you need to sit down yourself as an athlete to correct yourself. Don't wait a credit Kenya to tell you. Don't wait your management to tell you the right thing because it was always your responsibility, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So Athletics Kenya are doing their best work to teach us what is where about, what is this IAU rules, you know? They are doing a very, very good work and that's why you see that we have always like this um, uh, seminars, seminars mm. for all counties, you know, mm. Mombasa, Kericho and all that. So if you don't attend that seminar, I, I think, and then you are losing something. So you must attend so that at least you can learn these things that you need to... Take charge of your own exactly. career, your own health. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. at yeah. the end of the day, the coach still has other people. Exactly. You're left yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll be left out and go mm. home. So it's you, it's you individually. You need to be very careful. Mm. And many of them don't come back. Exactly, no. don't come back. But if you burn it for like eight years, you are dead. Yeah. Go home. So, and now the rules of IU says that when you caught on doping case, I think it started from four years, not two now. From four to eight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any parting shot for us? Any inspiring words to the next generation of runners? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, about our generation or upcoming athletes, whatever, football and all that, first thing is that avoid bad friends. Mm -hmm. Concentrate. Do your own work. Just go. Whatever it is your mind's telling you. Don't do something that you can't. Because... It will ruin it. Exactly. Yeah. You'll ruin it. So, concentrate and then discipline. Make sure that too much discipline, whatever it is, you are um, always like your discipline to be higher. That's all. Thank you. Thanks. Elijah Manangoy, thank you for coming on Radu Live. Thanks. I wish you all the best at the World Championships next year. We'll be cheering. Thanks. <laughs> and then we come to the airports. <laughs> I hopefully, I'll see you. Uh, yeah, well, uh, now I've said it. Now, now I'm <laughs> I've put myself in a corner. Exactly. No, but I, I agree with you. We need to appreciate our athletes more. On, on an individual level, True. not yeah. on that Team Kenya does well. Exactly. Anyway, we'll get, we only got four medals. Like, a medal is easy to get, you know? Like, an athlete, like, you can run 5,000, 10,000, two medals. That's huge. That is a huge thing. Trust me, that's a huge thing. Even one medal, yeah. because it's the world. You're against the world. Exactly. So anyway, thank you so much, Elijah, for coming on the show. And, uh, yeah, and thank you guys You're for welcome. watching Radu Live. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.